Eddie. Hey. Yeah, no, it's me. That's why I'm calling. Yeah. Right. You'll get it done by next week? Good. No later than next week, right? Did you put Hoyt into solitary? No. He tried to kill me. I know. But so far, neither of you will tell me why. It's personal. Fine. You asked for protective custody, I set you up here. But sooner or later, I'm bringing you back. And Hoyt or one of his biker buddies will finish the job on you. So go ahead. Keep it personal. Wait! I will tell you everything. Golino had a cell phone. After he died, I got hold of it. Now O'Reilly's got it. He's hidden it somewhere in M City. Where is it? The cell phone? What cell phone, Mr. Corns? You know which cell phone. They're against the rules, sir. Mm -hmm. You didn't find it. No. And without that cell phone, I have no way of proving your story is true. So what happens now? Well, I leave you here a couple more days. Then I'm sending you back. To die. All right, Mr. Corns. I have two requests. I would like to see my girlfriend and a rabbi. I'll set it up. I am soon very likely going to die. Nikolai. There is one thing you must do for me. Anything. Muy angel. Tonight, at 5 p.m., I want you to dial this phone number. It must be 5 p.m. sharp. In my proudest moment as your governor, I signed the law that reinstated the death penalty. Together, we've made great strides in the war on crime. There's much more to do. Let's finish the job. The courage to be James Devlin, governor. A long time ago, if a man stole another man's cow, or lamb or pig and butchered it and was found with the animal's blood on his fingers, he was said to be caught red-handed. Of course, if the robber was too cocky to wash his hands, maybe he deserved to get busted. Help! Fuck now, yeah. Come on, 